It feels great to be back in my home away from home. The always rainy, but always beautiful, Prince Rupert, British Columbia. Rupert is an industry port town, but a gateway to wilderness adventure. And the city has a great group of adventure-minded people. And it just so happens that my job is adventure. So this week, I'm picking up a plus one. This is Erin. She's a somewhat local. And today, we'll be exploring one of the few locations neither of us have been. The remote and beautiful Port Simpson. Phase one of the Port Simpson project is getting the motorhome onto the ferry. And with a motorhome, it's only possible at high tide. We're not gonna hit high tide. We'll be an hour and a half lower. I think it should be fine, but if anything happens, just gonna blame it on Aaron. I don't know. Just saw a truck go up this thing. It's a little steeper than I would prefer, but I think it'll be okay. 55. You're nervous? I know you're nervous. I know you're more nervous. I'm nervous too. We got the go ahead to at least attempt it. They're pretty confident we can make it, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's going to drag like a really big time. You can tell already. We didn't make it very far. <laughs> oh no. So far so good. As far as not going very good is concerned. Okay, go ahead. Absolute piece of cake. <laughs> So much. I don't know what you guys were so nervous for. That was easy. See the waterfall? <laughs>
Today's adventure day. We're putting in the crab trap first, and I'm pretty excited to say I got some shrimp in gear, so we're gonna try and get some shrimp, and to top it all off, in work channel, there should be some humpback whales, and if we're really lucky, some orcas. Found a pretty nice honey hole here. 72 feet. Looking crabby. So where's the shrimp? They're at the bottom. Oh. Okie dokie, 122 feet with some freaking whales underneath us. Poor schools of shrimp. No way to know. Either would be cool. Wouldn't mind catching a whale. I've been told that going into work channel can be really dangerous because the tide pulls so hard through there. We have incoming tide right now, but there's a little shortcut you can take called canoe passage. That's what we're going for here. A little bit of current, not bad though. This guy's got a friggin' zip line going over. We're like six minutes into this adventure. Found some whales right at the mouth of Work Channel. So we're gonna go out and see if we can handle the current out here. There's a whole pot of them. We have about, we think maybe 10 whales here, something close to that. And as far as we can tell, it looks like they're bubble net feeding. So we don't want to get too close with the boat. I have the big camera out, so I'll do the best that I can for you guys. It's pretty magical out here right now. Apologize for all the shaky footage. I don't want to get any closer, so I'm shooting on this big zoom lens. Unbelievable, the whole front of this channel is just full of these whales. I just shut the motor off, and they're coming actually pretty close to us. We're just gonna sit here and let them do what they want. Pretty amazing. We're just sitting out here to, at the mouth with the engine off. The whales have come like right up to where we are. As majestic as this experience has been, we have more plans today so we can't stay with the whales all day because we have many miles to go down the channel. So we're going to leave the whales to enjoy their krill or whatever they're doing here. We don't really know what they're doing but let's whip it out of here. I'm not sure what I've done to get so lucky with this weather, but mile after mile, the mighty Pacific remained a sheet of glass. 
Today's adventure covers more than 100 kilometers return, which is always a risk, but it's a risk we're happy to take to see land and wilderness as pristine as this. Over the two days we spent exploring this channel, we covered 263 kilometers, shared time with dozens of whales and other ocean life, took in the most astonishing views, and through it all, we did not see one other single boat. down work channel there's an arm going off and on that arm is an abandoned log camp or something I don't know we're just getting to the arm right now it's a pretty remote spot out here so it's hard to find reliable information but we're gonna take a cruise and check it out a good waterfall and there's been a lot of them on this channel wait till you see the friggin waterfall in front of us right now look at that baby there's even a rainbow <laughs> We're almost at the end of the channel here, so I don't know, no sign of a logging camp yet, but there's a flat spot up here. If it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be there. Everything else has been like vertical mountain. It'd be really cool if we could get up this creek, but I'm not sure how deep it's gonna stay. Take a look at this thing. Some type of logging something. Uh, what's there right in front of us? Just grass? Yeah, getting pretty shallow here. My skipper's telling me nothing at all. <laughs> oh, a lively one. This little canal we're making our way up here, it's just full of salmon, like thousands and thousands of them. Pretty rotten, most of them. 
What a beautiful place though. I'm gonna try and go for a bit of a walk here. I don't know what's gonna be left of this old log camp, if anything, or if we're gonna even be able to see. Pretty marshy around here. This is an incredibly beautiful place, but there does not seem to be much left here. And if we stay any longer, the tide's gonna strand us. Before we leave, I wanna take a closer look at this thing. It's like a tiny little wheel track. Maybe it lived on that. There's a bunch of cable, a bit of a pulley system, and then a big diesel engine. And then this big long tube. And the tube tunes, turns into a smaller tube, and then it ends. So there you have it. Some type of thing. Down this channel, it sounds like there's a waterfall I'm hoping we can get down far enough to check it out, but we'll take a little, quick little cruise down there. Well, I think that's the end of the line. Pretty neat little river adventure, but it's time to make our way out of here. Well, I'm just gonna be straight with you guys. Today's actually adventure day two. I wanted to end the episode on a moho cooking show with shrimp and crab, but somebody let all the shrimp and crab out. <laughs> Oh my God, it's completely empty. How's it looking? Like chicken. Like chicken? Is that a joke? And as much as I wanted to just call it quits and starve to death, Aaron said, no, we're gonna get out there and we're gonna pull it off. So we're out here pulling it off. Oh, what have we done wrong? We're bad at this. We have a fish. <laughs> you have a fish? You spend all this time coiling it up nice to get it just knotted. so we can get a big knot in it. <laughs> so Aaron has informed me that she's a total professional salmon fisherman. I might have slayed a few in my day. We're gonna freaking find Two, out. Three years here. We're going with weighted minnow because my downrigger situation has not improved. Wow, you've got some weeds already. I friggin' knew she was lying to me about being a pro. Three minutes in, scored a weed. I have never seen this before, but there is massive schools of bait fish like just boiling on the surface of the water here. And you can see them as just like clouds on the fish finder. I can hardly friggin' believe it. We're hooked up. How does it feel? Is it a total monster? Or is it possibly a log? False alarm. It was a log. No fish yet, but what we learned is Erin knows her way around a pretty good bird's nest. <laughs> Ready to get out of here. We are hammering down trying to get home before dark. 
pulling up the pots for the last time. Oh my goodness. What's in there? More luck than other places, but not what we want. We got hermit crabs and a starfish. And that's the fish from this morning. And the same fish from this morning. <laughs> of Lacqua Lambs have welcomed me into their community with open arms and I could not be more thankful. It's an absolute pleasure to get the opportunity to come out here and enjoy this land, learn about their traditions and culture and get to share it with all of you. So a great big thank you to the people of the community and I can't wait for next week's adventure here. Most of all, thanks for watching everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>